Okay, first of all, Rob, obviously last week you announced uh, your retirement. Was that a decision that's been uh, a, a long time coming? Uh, no, it's, it's a. Um, I've thought about it for a long time. Um, I didn't enter this year thinking uh, it was going to be my last year, but um, as time went on, you know, I, um, you know, I had, had a few months to thinking about it really, but uh, I think it's the right decision at the end. Are you glad to have the, the the story out there now? You can just concentrate on getting back to fitness and getting back on the field now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it was a big week last week when the announcement was. I've, I've had more messages and tweets and you know Instagram, whatever's um, than in, in my life, and I ever will get. But it, it, it was a nice day. But um, yeah, now it's just normal. Back to back to um, you know, obviously for me, trying to get back playing and, and getting this squad and, and, and be effective for them. How is the injury at the moment? How how close are you to returning? It's good, but it, it's an injury where um, it needs six weeks of the bone to heal because I've had screws in there, so there's holes in the clavicle. So uh, coming back early isn't an option, really. I've got to wait um, until it's fully healed the, the six weeks. But other than that, it's perfect. But, you know, it's just a time thing. You've just got to wait it out. It's not a frustrating time but the, uh, for you at the moment, but at least you know when you're ready, you will be ready. Yeah, I mean, Saturday now, I feel like I can play, you know, and my fitness is up. I've been doing plenty of, plenty of um, training around it. But, uh, yeah, it's a bit frustrating knowing that you know, if I came in now, I'd hurt it and it'd probably break it or whatever. So, uh, yeah, frustrating, but, you know, the lads are going great. So I just want to be able to add to them when I come back. So you're leaving the Rhinos on the field, but you're staying with the club uh, off the field. What's uh, your, your new role? What does that entail? Yeah, I'm going to be working with the youth. Yeah, um, you know, we haven't really got an exact title of what I'm going to be doing, but I'm going to be um, involved with, you know, bringing the next young bunch through, from, from bringing them from amateur clubs and hopefully making them into Super League players. It's something I'm really passionate about, something I went through, and majority of this, the core of this squad throughout the, the golden era um, have all come through that system. So, you know, I'm, I'm so keen to sort of pass on my uh, experiences and, and, and knowledge that I've got from it and hopefully, you know, recreate uh, another generation which comes through and, and leads this club to, to glory. I'm planning of young players obviously we saw uh, play at Wigan on, on Friday obviously not the result uh, the club wanted but good to see those players get a chance in a in a, a, a massive game uh, environment yeah I mean there, there was, there was just, they did really really well against a very good Wigan side obviously but you know the experiences they get from from that and, and they there's something they will never taste it before not only that intensity but dealing with going to Wigan and, and you know the all occasion and, and, and losing in that manner so um you know, we in many ways took a lot more positives out than Wigan, I think, in that sense. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, who knows? They they could be stars of the future. Second in the table, going into the Challenge Cup semi-finals uh, this weekend. Obviously, you've had many great and, and many bad times here at the club, yeah. but I guess it's uh, it's all bubbling up nicely for yourself, Danny Maguire, etc., to end the season on a high. Yeah, it'd be good. Um, you know, nice to go out on a high. We, we, we're in a decent position. Uh, I don't think we've, we've played as best yet, but, uh, you know, when there's those people like Adam Cuthbertson here to my right who likes to kick on the first and things like that, we're always in with a chance. Uh, all this weekend, obviously, you won't be in action, but... Uh, Albert Kelly's back. Uh, well, expect his back. Gareth Ellis was back from injury yeah. last week for them. Two big players for them, but they've got quality all over the side, as we saw a couple of weeks ago when they, well, just uh, lost here at Henningley. Yeah, they're a really, really, really good side, um, and they've been for the last couple of years, so um, they've always been close, tight knit games, but. Albert Kelly did play last 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 game, and I think he'll he'll want to have a big emphasis on the game. He's um, a quality player, somebody you, don't, you can sort of organise your team what he's going to do, but then he'll do something completely different. So he's a bit freakish and very very talented player. So you know people like that are, are players who we need to keep quiet or keep to a minimum amongst you know stopping a really tough strong pack. And Gareth Hill is a player who ne- never seems to uh, take a bad step, doesn't he? He's, he's, he's absolutely brilliant, he's Gaz. Um, you know, I was fortunate to play here at Leeds with him and obviously he went over to NRL and did what he did and um, you know, he's, he's a legend of a player, he's Gaz. And, and he's, he's still as hungry to, to play well as he is from, from day one. So uh, you know, he'll, he's a big game player, he always has been, so we're expecting him to be, to be big and probably lead their pack. Your shoes uh, look like they might be filled next year by uh, Brad Dwyer, club announced his signing last week. What do you uh, make of him as a player? I think he's a great young signing. Um, you know, he's, he's obviously improving, um, and, and every time he's played us, he can only go and either play against you. And he's always been a threat every time we've got the ball. Um, you know, he's quick out of there. He caused some damage. So, you know, as he gets older and older, I'd imagine he'll have more effect on the game. And um, but I think it's a real good signing and, and a signing for the future. So it's coming towards the end of your career. Danny Maguire's here at Headingley and the, the South Stand as well. The South Stand likes to remind us about your uh, background in Castleford and <laughs> the, and many and various things we won't go into. But uh, I guess coming towards the end of the season, Castleford top, you second. It'll be a, a dream grand final for many people. Yeah, it will. Yeah, um, you know, Castle have been great for a few years. You know, under, under Daryl Powell, they've been absolutely fantastic. And this year, they've they've had something else to it. And um, you know, the the league doesn't lie. You know, the ten points clear and. 
Um, I think they've been, you know, by far the best team, and we rightfully deserve that, that top spot. So, no, they're the benchmark which everybody's got to, to reach, and we we haven't been there yet. We've played them is it three times and, and lost three times. So, um, you know, we're looking to change that around. Um, but yeah, they're, they're the team of the strives to beat this year.